This one's called Pink Dawn. Back to the story, the house was remortgaged and the prevail was brought from Ireland. And a quite apt name for me because that means it's meant to be. A steel ship I think is not likely to sink, but financially next time and not in a drink. She was big enough to carry bins of slush ice and, and the sardines on the deck. And like the picture shows, I could catch much more than I could carry or than what the markets could handle. Like a lot of Cornishmen in the past, using second-hand equipment and making do, not having any backing to see the job right through. If I could afford it, I would like to have spent 10 or 20,000 pounds fitting a tank in the Prevail and down in a fish room. Then she could have carried 15 or 20 tons of fish with the slush ice as well. BCP written on the side of the bins means British Cured Pilchards. You would have noticed those letters on the, the red boxes when I sank the Penrose. But it was not possible financially as well as the markets had not been able to handle it if that were to have happened. The painting shows the shoals of, of dolphins on the right hand side. It is possible to see many hundreds in a shoal and occasionally they are many miles wide long and long. I once found one floating on the surface and it was very fresh. I boarded it, took it home and cut three steaks from it. One for Dad, one for my brother and one for me. We all enjoyed it and agreed it was like steak, but Mother wouldn't cook it anymore as they were such intelligent animals and like human beings. So we used it for crab bait and shark bait so it didn't go to waste. Down the bottom left hand corner, there's poor beagle sharks eating squid. And in the, the middle shark is a thresher shark. And on the right hand side, there's a shoal of bass in a circle.